Welcome. We're going to explore the Boylton to Port Wakefield Railway today. Um, this section of line you're about to see today eventually became part of uh, two uh, separate important South Australian railway lines. This uh, web of railway lines that we have in the mid-north uh, can be a little bit confusing, so hopefully this video clears that up a little bit for you. If you did like the video, please hit the like button, and I'd love you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll see my next videos as soon as I publish them. Enjoy! Opened in 1871 as a horse-drawn and gravity-operated tramway from Hoylton through Balaclava to Port Wakefield, this narrow-gauge line was soon upgraded to steam engines in 1876 and extended to Blyth. The Balaclava to Moonta line was formed by joining up with the horse-drawn tramway built between Kadena, Wallaroo and Moonta in 1878. The Balaclava to Blythe section eventually became part of the Hamley Bridge to Gladstone line when that line reached Gladstone in 1894. Let's go exploring. I'm standing here at Bowman's. Uh, this is where the Balaclava line crosses the uh, Adelaide to Port Augusta line, um, which is still an operational interstate freight line. Uh, here at Bowman's you've got the Balco intermodal facility and a grain loading facility behind camera over there. Um, we're going to head into the town of Bowman's and show you the remains of the railway yards there in just a sec. Okay, so we're here in Balaclava. This is basically where all the three lines uh, either started from or finished. Um, so ahead of me here is the line to Port Wakefield, which later became the Balaclava to Moonta line. Behind me here is what became the Hamley Bridge to Gladstone line. Uh, the funny thing about this junction was the trains actually had to change direction here at Balaclava on the Hamley Bridge to Gladstone line. They had to come in here um, and then turn back around to head back up the other way as this station was always built uh, as an east-west station and that railway headed north. Uh, we've done a bit of exploring around here today. Um, the rails stop just outside of town, probably about a few hundred metres ahead of me here, and it becomes the Copper Coast Rail Trail. Uh, we're going to keep on exploring, so stick with us and enjoy.
behind me is the original sandstone railway storage shed here at Hoylton. It was originally the terminus of the Balaclava to Hoyles Plains Railway, built in 1871. It operated as the terminus at least until 1876 when the line was extended to Bly. That's it folks, thanks for watching. I hope I've been able to unpick a little bit of the Weber Railway lines for you and unpack a bit of the history around that railway line as well. Um, there are so many more old railway lines to explore, so stick with Outdoors Type and we'll explore them all together. Bye for now.